Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video on my uh, geothermal uh, hot, hot tub water cooler, and this is what it's all about. All right, thank y'all for watching. All right, here you go. Right here is the 20 watt solar panel. I'm using the power of a battery with, and I'm gonna use a Morning Star. Morning Star. Sun Saver, I mean, Sunlight 10 to operate on my battery, and this will be charging my battery during the day, and at night, my geothermal will run when it's coolest. But here we go, y'all. Right here is my hole I dug. Right here, if you can see it. Right here. And this is the, uh, about, uh, I see about close to, uh, it's a 60 feet of a uh, funny pipe. All uh, aluminum case, everything going through there, and there's my cold, hot, and cold water return right there. And this is my wire right here, going from my solar panel. Ah! Don't spray me, girl. <laughs> Little girl to spray me. But anyway, anyway, this is where the cold line and everything's going to go to the hot tub. Right here, as you can see, and I got a top slow pump. I show you, it's a top slow pump I'm going to be using. Same thing you'd use on your uh, on your uh, hot water, but this would be used for cold water. And I can use it in the, in the winter time and the summer to keep the hot tub from freezing in the winter, and to keep the uh, hot tub. Uh, going in the summer and keep it cool because you know around here in Virginia the temperatures get extremely hot and this is my top slow uh, top slow TS5 15 PV solar DC circulator pump and here's what it looks like get in the box real quick y'all and I'll connect my hose to this. There's a black, a black and red wire that I'll go in my inline hose. My black garden hose if you see it. But this thing is a bomb, it's brushless. It's pretty kick butt. Float, uh, flow rate 11.5 liters per minute. But yeah, my hand's shaking, I've been digging my butt off. Yeah, this is what you want to get. I got it off eBay for like around uh, 60 bucks and free shipping. But you can use that for hot water also. Let's go back to the hot tub. But I'm just going to run my hose. Like I say. Oh yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. Garden real quick. <laughs> She's coming along. Really good. May of plants are blooming. This is May the 19th. They're looking sweet. All right. Enough of the garden, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, there's my solar panel up there. And that's my solar air heater. Excuse me, solar attic fan. That thing is the bomb. All right. Anyway, this is my 20 watt panel, and that's going to go into my charge controller. And like I said, it goes down here and up underneath the deck. And I'm going to put my, this is part one of the video, I'm going to put my control box here. Just like that box right there, I didn't mean to go so fast, y'all. Just like that box of batteries going to go in there, and my, um, the Sunlight 10 is actually a waterproof box, so I can just put a, I'm going to build like a little housing around it. I'm going to mount it up on that beam right there. But anyway, this will be my, this short, shorter hose right here is going to be my, my cold water line. I mean hot, coming from the tub. And this will be my cool water line. Okay. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. There's my leftover PV cable. Alright, well thank y'all for watching. 
And y'all have a great day and good to see you. No beard. Got a goatee though. Good to see y'all. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Here we go again. One last picture. Yeah, baby. All right. Over and out.